Uh, my name is Frank LaRue. I'm the Special Rapporteur for Freedom of Opinion and Expression of United Nations. I have many vivid uh, experiences coming from a country like Guatemala, but let me mention two of them. One is that uh, coming as a lawyer to the labor federation I used to work with, the Central Nacional de Trabajadores, and since I'm legally blind, I didn't even notice that they had put a bomb in our door. And I walked to the door, knocked the door, and I was actually uh, received by our janitor in a hole in the bottom of the door, which I crawled in because the army had just bombed our headquarters and taken all the men and left the janitor and the secretary. So I was basically stayed there to do a press release, to call the radios, and when the press arrived, a, a friend, a journalist, disguised me as press and took me out. And I think that was very representative of Guatemala. When I left my country for exile, things actually got worse, and we went through a period of genocide. And in coming back, we were handling the case of genocide against General Rios Montt. And we had a meeting of all the leaders of the communities that were participating in this demand, the Association of Justice and Reconciliation, AJR. And there was an old man from Huertenango that said, the first day was all the stories of each community. And he did something that shocked me dramatically as if I would have seen the repression. He says, up to now, we always thought that the massacre in San Francisco Nenton, which was his community, had only occurred to us. Probably because of something we did and we deserved it. Now I recognize for the first time that this was a national strategy of killing and genocide throughout the country. And all my brethren from different Mayan communities here suffered the same thing. I am very painful, he says, for everyone else who suffered. But I also feel relieved because there's many shoulders carrying the burden. This for me was the one shocking experience that I will never forget.